hundreds displaced by rains in southwestern China. As of Thursday, July 14th, more than 630 people in the southwestern province of Sichuan had been evacuated as 70 homes collapsed due to floods and mudslides. On Tuesday night, some 1,500 liquefied petroleum gas bottles, 500 of which were filled with gas, had also been swept into the Nyachu River, prompting immediate retrieval efforts by rescue workers and downstream villagers. On Wednesday morning, officials reported that a landslide blocked the Yajiang section of National Highway 318, with rescues needed for stranded vehicles, as over 20 sections of road were also damaged by flooding. Sichuan province has been stricken by incessant downpours since the end of June, affecting over 1.5 million people and claiming at least eight lives. However, there have fortunately been no immediate reports of casualties from the most recent precipitation and bout of flooding. As when the torrential rains hit earlier in July, Supreme Master Qinghai requested that our nearby association members please check with local officials to see if any assistance is needed and to go if possible to comfort the most desperate. Conveying all her love and prayers, she also said that emergency funds are available. Our appreciation, rescue personnel, and volunteers working to alleviate these disasters, as we also thank Supreme Master Qinghai for her heartfelt concern. Let us all strive to reduce such weather extremities through our gentler regard for all fellow beings on Earth. Supreme Master Qinghai wants to convey this message of gratitude to all governments, organizations, and relief workers from every corner of the world. Thank you, all the international and national help that brings care and necessities to afflicted victims. Thank you, all the relief workers, for taking time and forsaking your own comfort, even traveling great distance on unfavorable roads and conditions to bring love and assistance to people in time of need. May heaven bless you abundantly for your generosity and noble sacrifice.